Hey everyone, I am going to show you how I put together this doll for my daughter's dollhouse. We are creating things for her 18 inch doll. You can use this with your American Girl doll, your Generation doll, My Life dolls, any of those dolls this will work for. And I adapted a plan from American Girl Ideas. Please check her link in the description box. I adapted it to make like a day bed, which is what is the look we were going for. So if you're interested to see how I created this, stay tuned. All of the dimensions will be in the description box. I used half inch foam board and I got the boards from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, both with a coupon. They're about $7 per board. So if you're able to use a coupon, that will be awesome. So um, get all of your pieces cut. And um, I use a foam works um, foam cutter it works really really well um, I was using a utility knife sometimes that can get a little jagged but this works perfectly and I got that from Hobby Lobby you'll also need a ruler a measuring tool um, I like using this long steel ruled ruler um, has a sharp straight edge and it's easy for me to cut the foam board or line the foam board up when I'm cutting so you'll want to grab your headboard and footboard pieces. Now here's where you can have a little variation. You can make them exactly the same size um, so that it'll actually look like a headboard and footboard with one being bigger than the other. But I wanted mine to look like a daybed so um, I have mine cut to the um, dimensions that I have. So um, you want to mark your head and footboard two inches from the bottom. This also can be changed because um, depending on how high you want your headboard to be. So I just took the ruler and I marked two inches from the bottom on both sides of the headboard and then both sides of the footboard because I want to be able to either put a trundle underneath or a storage compartment where I can um, store her um, excess doll clothes underneath the bed so it'll be easy to pull out so um, go ahead and mark your dimensions if you want to do it exactly how I did it and again I'm just doing two inches from the edge on both pieces The next thing you want to do is grab your side pieces that you've cut already and then starting at the um, bottom of that line or sit the board on top of that line that you just created that's where you want to apply the hot glue because everything else will be counted as underneath the bed so I'm using a super heavy duty hot glue gun and I'm just going to put some hot glue on the edge piece and hold it there for a couple seconds it creates a great bond and it's pretty steady so but you want to be careful so if you are under age please get a parental assistance And you just want to go ahead and repeat that for the other side. Now you want to grab your footboard and do the same thing that you did to the headboard. Remember um, to make adjustments if you don't want yours the same height that I'm making it this these two um, bits are where you want to change the height of the head and footboard but uh, if you marked it like I did at the two inch mark from the bottom this is what you'll do um, put the glue on both sides and then carefully place them on the footboard so I'm just turning it to make sure that they're both lined up 
according to the edge and the dot that I made, wiping off any excess glue, and then I hold it there for a few seconds until it adheres. So we're all done with the frame. Now you want to take your foot legs and line them up on all four posts. So we're going to line up the, the top of the foot leg with the top of the headboard and footboard on both sides. So all I'm going to do is add some hot glue um, to the side and apply the footboard. I'm just showing you how it should look like at that angle because it's hard to film with this what I'm doing. So it's too big. <laughs> so um yeah, just add the hot glue to the top of, uh, to the, the side of that footboard, which is where I'm starting. And if you marked your boards with a pencil, be sure to erase those before dressing your bed. <laughs> side note. So add the hot glue, then add the foot legs, remembering to line it up from the top. So center it in the middle and line it up from the top. Pretty, pretty simple. Once you're done adding your posts, the next thing is to add your support parts. These two pieces go in between the side longer pieces that you just created and they just wedge in between there. Now if you realize that you need to cut off like a little sliver, please do, so, do that so that your edges don't bow. Um, so just make sure, you know, if you've angled it differently or just shave off a little bit, you don't want those sides to bow. So I'm going to cut off. A little bit so that this fits in there um, perfectly so here I'm just showing you the two little bits that I cut off the end of both of the boards so that the supports would fit inside the bed last thing you need to do is just add your full box spring and I didn't glue this down because it was a snug fit and all I did was put it in there and use pressure to put it down and it fit in there perfectly I didn't need to add any glue or anything to it so I opted not to do that and we're done with the bed this is what it looks like um, aside adding the toppers which I didn't record there's two pieces that are left and they just go at the top of the headboard and at the top of the footboard those are the two pieces and like I said I didn't record this part because um, I was off camera so but that's what it looks like put the toppers on there to have like little armrests and you're done with the bed so super easy super simple and very inexpensive I think I used one foam board for this bed and I had pieces left over I decided to leave this bed plain as it is uh, feel free to spray paint this colored in pattern or uh, coated in pattern paper or whatever but I think I'm gonna leave it so I'm able to interchange with other bedding as needed now it's time to go ahead and dress this bed. I made these bed sheets for my daughter. I do have several sets in my Etsy shop along with some backdrop stuff and I think it's super super cute. So all I'm doing I made this mattress with some cushion and some um, batting and then I'm layering the top sheet that I created for this bed and there's also a comforter and pillows that I will later add. All of the information to purchase this set and the other sets that I have will be in the description box. And that comforter is filled with uh, batting so that the doll can be nice and comfortable. And it's also double sided.
So there we are guys, the bed is all made up and ready for her to play with. Don't forget to check the links in the description box for where I adapted this doll bed from the Etsy shop. If you like this video, like it. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, hopefully you guys that are following this series and making one for your own home will enjoy this and find this tutorial helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.